God proclaims today, my name is the formidable fortress in your existence. The crucifixion constituted the decisive blow against the adversary's defeat, as it was upon the cross that I bestowed upon you my name as the paramount weapon against all the schemes of the foe. When challenges arise around you, dear one, understand that I am your protector. I am the formidable bastion that will safeguard and envelop you, ensuring your protection from all danger. Individuals seek explanations and saviors, although such efforts are futile, for I alone will rescue you and preserve your life from ruin. The virtuous seek refuge in my name and attain salvation. There exists no alternative refuge, there is no security beyond the cross. Therefore, hasten to me, declares the Father, for I am your salvation. Seek me in times of despair, for no other name or power offers redemption. Political engagement will not provide salvation. Military forces and their conquest efforts will not provide salvation. Internalize permanently that it is not through might or might, but by my spirit, declares the Lord, that my purposes are upheld and my peace in your life is secured. Distance yourself from those who would entice you away from my voice resonating in your heart and through my message. Rely on me entirely, understanding that when adversity looms and darkness prevails, I am the beacon of truth guiding you toward a brighter future. Today, God declares, I am summoning my warrior bride. My preliminary efforts have united my people and directed their focus toward their assignments. Assume agency over the narrative to which you are attentive, beloved. Redirect your focus and attention away from negativity and adversarial opposition. Focus only on my kingdom and your designated role by the calling I have bestowed upon you. You are the chosen of heaven. I have summoned you from your mother's womb to accomplish a task that beyond merely seeing the enemy's attempts to exhaust the saints. Intention to grasp and obtain my rejuvenation. Embrace the rejuvenating reins of my spirit today and be purged of the taint of mocking, despair, and helplessness that the adversary seeks to exploit to confine you. The Father states that you are unbound when you focus your gaze on me. As you concentrate on the throne and strive for the kingdom, the iron chains of discouragement and despair will disintegrate like flax as you exercise your spiritual strength. Allow your mouth to engage in prayer. Commence the morning with supplication and reverence upon awakening. Consistently pray in the Spirit and with comprehension. Invoke the mysteries of heaven, and they shall be revealed on earth. You possess agency. You are not powerless. You are not disenfranchised. That is the perception the world wishes to propagate, however, it is a fabrication of falsehoods. You constitute my formidable army. The gathering for a worldwide expression is occurring. Determine your rank and assume your role. Anticipate with patience and proceed with boldness. Recognize that now is your moment and my moment to transfer the dominion of humanity to the authority of my intentions on earth. God declares today that he is dismantling Ahab and Jezebel from positions of power. The Ahab and Jezebel mentalities, together with the factors that enable them, are being revealed. I am dismantling and uprooting the malevolent strategies that have tainted the earth and my people from the elevated realms. Baal is being deposed and overthrown. The seven thunders are proclaiming their voices and destabilizing all that can be rocked on earth. 
Your eyes will perceive it, and your ears will receive the evidence. This is the moment that transforms the world, declares the Father, and I have granted you a prime vantage point to witness the most profound exhibition of my sovereignty the earth has ever experienced. I am agitating that which is susceptible to disturbance so that that which is immutable will endure. I am distinguishing the tares from the wheat. I am transporting the early barley crop into the granary. Prepare for the fulfillment of your prayers in the lives of your loved ones. The period for irrigation is concluding. The planting and watering seasons are yielding to the harvest, including the significant harvest I have assured in my word. Prepare yourself. Prepare to venture forth as a gatherer, as a laborer in my harvest, because the magnitude of the crop is mature and accessible to those possessing the faith and audacity to bring them into my kingdom, declares the Father. Today, God communicates with you through His Son. As I previously communicated through the Law and the Prophets, today I am conveying my message through my Son. Allow the existence of the Son to serve as the perspective through which you comprehend my essence and my actions. I entered the world so that you may have life and live in plenty. Anything that does not embody life and life in abundance did not originate from the Son. You are empowered and anticipated to oppose anything in heaven or earth that does not yield benediction and blessing in your life. This contradicts the teachings you have received from the counsels of the uneducated, yet it is the unequivocal testimony of my word that I am applying to every circumstance in your life today. Do not be afraid, said the Father. Do not fear have faith alone. When your heart weakens and trust wavers, resolve to keep your tongue adhered to the roof of your mouth. All your days are inscribed in my book, and none of them are narratives of hardship, sorrow, or disillusionment. In my opinion, these are merely deceptive vanities. When you witness deceptive illusions, you abandon the account of my benevolence inscribed in the immutable record of your existence, which was established before the world's foundation. Disavow that narrative of despondency. Take pleasure in my assurance. Direct your affection and focus towards my goodness and you will witness my goodness in the realm of the living as the paramount and comprehensive truth defining your journey inside my kingdom. Before the video continues, please like the video, share it with your family and write Amen in comment. Today, God proclaims, I am your shepherd. I am guiding you and I am overseeing you. I am leading you to tranquil lakes and verdant meadows. Cease, proclaims the Father. Repose and nourish. Repose and imbibe profoundly of my benevolence. Invoke the assurance of my words so that I may strengthen your legs to stand atop the mountain of my holiness. Eliminate the exterior of the natural individual who is solely aware of degradation. You are not decreasing, you are augmenting. Your growth corresponds with the ascendance of God. This is your foundational condition, as an individual who enters my presence can only experience growth and expansion at my table. It is irrelevant whether you perceive it or experience it in your corporeal existence. Irrespective of emotional states, you are favored by the Most High. Will the adversary prevail in reviling what I have sanctified? I have endowed you with the benefit and the privilege that resurrected Jesus from the grave. The blessing that resurrected my son is liberating you from destitution, decline, illness, grief, and hopelessness. 
Just as the grave could not contain my son, so too shall these circumstances not confine you. The Father declares this as your season of revelation, thus, celebrate, elevate yourself, and progress with faith, anticipating only the most favorable results for your particular journey. Today, God proclaims that the angel of his presence is in proximity to you. My splendor resides inside you, hence, the angel of my presence is readily accessible. The angels weep continuously, proclaiming, Holy, 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 as this is their reaction upon encountering my magnificence. Just like the snake consumes the earth's dust, the angels derive strength from my splendor and continually seek it wherever it is present. Consequently, I facilitated the indwelling of my glory within you by the sacrifice of the cross. The angels protect, direct, and encompass your existence due to the glory within you. The Father asserts that one should anticipate the presence of angels and recognize their proximity. As I am not distant, my angels are likewise not distant. I am not a distant deity. I am in proximity to you, as close as hands and feet. I am not a mere product of emotion or imagination that induces shivers on your arm. I reside within you, in the splendor. I am within you in the glory, and from that glory, I am fulfilling all of your needs. All the wealth found in Christ resides inside you, in the glory. No being awaits on a distant planet or remote location. My dominion resides within you. Perceiving my kingdom as external to you is a viewpoint rooted in sin consciousness. I exist within you. I am in your vicinity. The angels are present. You are currently entering an atmosphere of the remarkable. God proclaims today, I am the primary cause. You are the consequence. I have generated myself within you, and you within me, impervious to any form of defeat or assault. I am the cause, and you are the effect resulting from my intention to establish a fellowship. In the distant past, I yearned to manifest and articulate my essence, hence I created you on earth. The entirety of creation and the cosmos serve merely as the backdrop I establish for you to cultivate your connection with me. I did not bring you into existence to expose you to mortality or despondency. I brought you into being to embody the explicit purpose of my essence and my magnificence. You embody the splendor, as I have instilled my glory inside you. The primary objective of the cross was for me to inhabit your heart through glory. The Father proclaims the magnificence that resides within you. Recognize the magnificence and pay homage at that shrine, for within I am exalted inside you. Your heart is the vessel of my covenant. I no longer reside in a gold overlaid acacia wood box. You are the vessel of my presence. Within you resides the golden vessel of manna and the tablets of my word. That is your essence and my essence within you. Upon acknowledging this, and permitting this singular truth to govern your perception of life's purpose, every idol and pagan representation will collapse before you and shatter. Similar to the ancient temple of the fish deity, the adversary will be vanquished, and you shall be liberated from bondage, for I am unconfined, so you shall neither be constrained nor restricted as you comprehend your identity in me and my identity in you. God proclaims today, do not fear, only believe. 
I have not contacted you to endorse the actions of the adversary. I have contacted you to focus your attention on my actions. You will either occupy your mind with your difficulties or with my assurances. Select your option today. Your mind is a vessel where the future is generated and manifested through your spoken words. Are you inundating your head with concerns and anxieties? Such an action lacks intelligence. Inundate your psyche with my benevolence. Immerse yourself in the immediacy of my presence amidst your difficulties. Locate the table I have prepared for you in the presence of your adversaries, take your seat, and be fulfilled by the abundant goodness that adorns the table. Do not permit the adversary to strip you of your dignity or assert that you are devoid of it. You are neither unclothed, nor exposed, nor defenseless. I have adorned you with my essence. I exist within you, and you exist within me. When the adversary exerts maximum effort, I shall exert my utmost, and that is the conclusion. Triumph I embody the triumph within you. Your possession of me signifies your triumph, establishing you as a conqueror. Articulate it. Articulate, I am a conqueror due to the presence of Jesus within me. By doing so, you are predicting the subsequent events. I may support your statements when your thoughts and dialogue correspond with the narrative of my word rather than that of anxiety and hopelessness. Only then will you enter the moment that alters the world and modifies your existence. Before the video continues, I request you to comment Amen and please help me by doing super thanks. Your support means a lot to us. God instructs today to embrace the enlightened viewpoint of my kingdom. I am the illumination of the globe and I have summoned you to be both salt and light on the land and to people in your vicinity. What I desire for you to perceive and what I wish for you to embody are identical. I wish for you to comprehend the positive message of the gospel. I request that you convey that positive news to others in a personified manner. It is not your responsibility to persuade others of the prevailing darkness in the world. Light does not quantify darkness, it eradicates darkness. I embody your wisdom. Wisdom defines my essence rather than merely my knowledge. That wisdom is conveyed to you, even today, in greater abundance. What constitutes wisdom? Wisdom is not merely the capacity to assess the severity of circumstances or to unveil a profound plot. Darkness prevails, as plots infiltrate every facet of existence. What is the significance of this? If I reside within you as the supreme entity, the actions of the adversary are inconsequential, the only pertinent inquiry is, are you traversing in the light that I embody on earth? When illumination is present, darkness is eradicated, and pests flee from your existence. Simply receive my illumination. Embrace my illumination and traverse in my radiance. Proceed in the illumination that I embody. Embrace the brightness and resist distractions from the gloom. Upon creating the earth, I proclaimed, let there be light. I did not utter the phrase, how dark it is, how formless, one cannot attain or comprehend serenity while observing and interacting with the adversary's actions and intentions. No force can undermine my influence in your life as long as your focus remains on me. Direct your thoughts towards me. 
Direct your heart and emotions towards me. Reject fear and resist succumbing to the story of natural phenomena. You are not a natural entity, and the realm I have designated for your existence is not a natural one, but a supernatural one. I am the supreme being within you, and I have decreed that you engage in and embody the greater works ministry. This is your essence and my essence within you. Recognize and embrace this as your fundamental condition in life, and darkness will never dominate you, asserts the Father. Today, God proclaims, I am your shepherd. I am guiding you and I am overseeing you. I am leading you to tranquil lakes and verdant meadows. Cease, proclaims the Father. Repose and nourish. Repose and imbibe profoundly of my benevolence. Invoke the assurance of my words so that I may strengthen your legs to stand atop the mountain of my holiness. Eliminate the exterior of the natural individual who is solely aware of degradation. You are not decreasing, you are augmenting. Your growth corresponds with the ascendance of God. This is your foundational condition, as an individual who enters my presence can only experience growth and expansion at my table. It is irrelevant whether you perceive it or experience it in your corporeal existence. Irrespective of emotional states, you are favored by the Most High. Will the adversary prevail in reviling what I have sanctified? I have endowed you with the benefit and the privilege that resurrected Jesus from the grave. The blessing that resurrected my son is liberating you from destitution, decline, illness, grief, and hopelessness. Just as the grave could not contain my son, so too shall these circumstances not confine you. The Father declares this as your season of revelation, thus, celebrate, elevate yourself, and progress with faith anticipating only the most favorable results for your particular journey. Today, God proclaims that the angel of his presence is in proximity to you. My splendor resides inside you, hence, the angel of my presence is readily accessible. The angels weep continuously, proclaiming, Holy, 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 as this is their reaction upon encountering my magnificence. Just like the snake consumes the earth's dust, the angels derive strength from my splendor and continually seek it wherever it is present. Consequently, I facilitated the indwelling of my glory within you by the sacrifice of the cross. The angels protect, direct, and encompass your existence due to the glory within you. The Father asserts that one should anticipate the presence of angels and recognize their proximity. As I am not distant, my angels are likewise not distant. I am not a distant deity. I am in proximity to you, as close as hands and feet. I am not a mere product of emotion or imagination that induces shivers on your arm. I reside within you, in the splendor. I am within you in the glory, and from that glory, I am fulfilling all of your needs. All the wealth found in Christ resides inside you, in the glory. No being awaits on a distant planet or remote location. My dominion resides within you. Perceiving my kingdom as external to you is a viewpoint rooted in sin consciousness. I exist within you. I am in your vicinity. The angels are present. You are currently entering an atmosphere of the remarkable. God proclaims today, I am the primary cause. You are the consequence. 
I have generated myself within you, and you within me, impervious to any form of defeat or assault. I am the cause, and you are the effect resulting from my intention to establish a fellowship. In the distant past, I yearned to manifest and articulate my essence, hence I created you on earth. The entirety of creation and the cosmos serve merely as the backdrop I establish for you to cultivate your connection with me. I did not bring you into existence to expose you to mortality or despondency. I brought you into being to embody the explicit purpose of my essence and my magnificence. You embody the splendor, as I have instilled my glory inside you. The primary objective of the cross was for me to inhabit your heart through glory.